All right, thanks for joining me for this demonstration of SOLIDWORKS 2010. We're going to take a look at a weldment and uh, we're going to visit how we can create part detail drawings from a weldment. So let me cycle over to my weldment drawing that I've already gotten a good start on. Here I've just placed the general weldment, I've inserted my cut list and done some auto ballooning, but what I generally will need to do next is create drawing views of the individual part details. Now here's where a lot of folks make mistakes. Uh, they'll, they, uh, they think that in order to create part details they have to actually pull these these separate bodies out into their own part files. And that's not the case. Rather we can use one of the SOLIDWORKS drawing view commands. It's called a relative view. Now that's a command that may not be on your command manager toolbar, but you'll find it under the insert menu. Insert, drawing view, relative to model. Now if you use this command a lot, you may want to customize your, your uh, drawing view command manager in order to add that. To customize the, the command manager, just right click on the drawing view t or on the command manager tab, choose customize, and then from the customize dialog, go locate that command. It'll be under the drawings find the command icon that you want to add and just drag and drop it into the toolbar. Now to create a relative view we'll just pick on the icon. SOLIDWORKS takes us then back to our weldment model. In the property manager it asks you whether or not we want to create a relative view of the entire part or just selected bodies and this is the key for creating part details. You make sure to select selected bodies. Now in the, in the uh, selection box, you can choose which body you want to pull a detail from. I'll choose this member here, and then next, in the property manager, we need to specify the orientation for the desired view. You can pick any of the orthogonal views. It's generally convenient to pick something for that will be the front view, and then I just go pick a face on the model that I want to be the front, and then I'll need to pick a second orientation, which might be a right, top, left, or bottom, something convenient. I'm going to go ahead and say that the top orientation should be this top face of this member. Now once I've made those selections, I click the check mark, SOLIDWORKS takes me back to the part or to the drawing window and it's placing that view orientation of that particular detail. Now what is generally a good idea to do here is go ahead and add a second sheet to our drawing and then I can just drag and drop that detail onto my second sheet. Once I've got the detail in place, I can treat it like any other view. We can go ahead and maybe change the scale. We can add our dimensions, add our annotations, just like any other entity. So adding part details is a piece of cake. Let's go through it one more time. We pick relative view. Back in the SOLIDWORKS model, we choose selected bodies. Pick the detail that you want to, to uh, pull a detail from. Here, I'll choose this angled member here specify what you want to be one of your, your particular views. Here I'll say that I want this view to be the front and I want to orient such that this face is the top. Check mark OK. Back in the drawing, lay that detail view down in place just temporarily. Let's drag that to our second sheet. Maybe change the scale and add some dimensions. Just that easy. Relative views for creating part details of a weldment drawing.